Good evening. It's Thursday, February 28th here in Cebu City. I'm Sherry Ann Lim, and here's all you need to know in Newsbits tonight. Around 150 workers could lose their jobs should the Mandawi city government pursue the closure of big hotel and big hotel suites for allegedly failing to secure business permits. Here's Romain Rivera for the details. Around 150 workers of Big Hotel and Big Hotel Suites are on the verge of losing their jobs should Mandawi City government pursue the closure of these establishments. Sitting on 1.4 hectares of prime government land in Barangay Tipolo, Big Hotel, Big Hotel Suites, and Linear Coffee Shop were served a closure order from the Mandawi City Legal Office yesterday. The facilities allegedly failed to secure business permits and for building on land under a deed of assignment said to be infirm. Ken Derek Ngo, Chief Executive Officer of the Travel Bee Management Corp, said they continue to accept guests, but they have also prepared refunds and transportation for guests who opt to transfer. Since the start of their operation, Ngo said they have been complying with the city's requirements. He added that they will resubmit the hotel's business permit requirements tomorrow. Romain Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. The owner of a piggery in San Fernando, Cebu, and three of his workers posted bail after the NBI filed a complaint against them for violation of the Clean Water Act. Meanwhile, the treasurer's office in San Fernando said the piggery's owner religiously paid taxes and renewed his business permit. Here's Cherry Coronel for the details. The owner of the Multifarms Agro-Industrial Development Corporation and three of his workers were granted a temporary liberty after they posted bail for violation of the Clean Water Act. The Multifarms has a large-scale piggery in Sitio Magtalisay, Barangay Sangat in the town of San Fernando. The owner of the multi-farms, Santiago Tanchan III, and his workers, Rosalio Aguanta, Jason Fritz Aguanta, and, and Jeramil Sabala, were fined 24,000 pesos each for violating the Clean Water Act and another 48,000 pesos each for violating the Philippine Fisheries Code. Meanwhile, Town Acting Municipal Treasurer Ed Laguda said Tan Chan religiously paid the taxes for the facility and regularly renew its business tax since 1980. On Thursday, the National Bureau of Investigation filed a complaint before the Provincial Prosecutor's Office against Tan Chan and his workers. The filing came after a composite team led by the NBI Environmental Crime Division served a search warrant against multifarms. The Department of Public Works and Highways already destroyed the pipes used to dispose the untreated hog waste water into the sea. When Sunstar Cebu team visited the facility yesterday, operations continued at the water treatment facility. If the closure order will be implemented, at least hundreds of employees of the facility will be affected. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. The testimony of the first witness against former Bohol Provincial Board member Nino Reboniel in his kidnapping and illegal detention cases is very important, according to the prosecution's lawyer. Here's Sheila Gravinas for the details. Uh, no evidence can be stronger than that. So if uh, this testimony will be finished, then for sure we will get a uh, conviction. The lawyer of the prosecution for the kidnapping and serious illegal detention cases against former Bohol Provincial Board member Nino Ray Boniel said the testimony of Randall Lupas is very important. Lupas, who used to be a municipal driver of the local government on Bian Onido, appeared before the Sala of Judge Jose Nathaniel Andal of the Branch 22 of the Regional Trial Court in Cebu City on Thursday to testify. The witness said he was tasked to fetch former Bien Onido Bohol Mayor Gisela Boniel and her son at the Tagbilaran Airport last June 6, 2017, the day before the mayor was killed. Prosecution lawyer Amando Verhill Ligutan said Lupa's statement is significant as this will establish the crime of kidnapping really took place. But due to time limitation, Judge Andal decided to continue Lupa's testimony on March 5. Ray Boniel is facing parasite charges after he was accused of killing his wife. 
He was also accused of kidnapping and detaining his wife's best friend, Angela Laison, and his minor son. Sheila Gravinas, Newsbits Tonight. Here's the latest entertainment news with Romaine Rivera. Celebrating 8 years of marriage and 11 years of being together, John Estrada brought his family to the island of Boracay. Together with John and Priscilla Morelles was their only child, Annika, who is a first-timer in Boracay. Both husband and wife took it to their Instagram accounts to show their love and affection for one another. John said he is truly blessed to have Priscilla, while the Brazilian beauty queen described John as a Filipino cowboy and called him as her conquistador. John and Priscilla held their wedding at a beach in La Union in 2011. After the three-day break, John will resume taping for Capuso show Cara Mia. Happy anniversary, John and Priscilla. Romaine Rivera, Newsbits Tonight. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Sherry Ann Lim. Good evening.